going through a breakup we know can be really tough, but would you pay for a weekend getaway to get over your ex? Would we heard about a new fun. retreat in New York that's basically a boot camp for your broken heart. We have the creator of this breakup retreat, Renew, joining us on Skype today, who describes herself as a scientific Carrie Bradshaw. Please welcome Amy to the show. Hi, Amy. So, welcome. The retreat is called Renew. How did you come up with the idea for this getaway retreat to get over an ex? So it actually, it was about five years ago, I was in a relationship with a man that I thought I was going to marry. And uh, one day that relationship broke apart. I spiraled into a pretty bad depression. I stopped eating and lost about 20 pounds. And I started having panic attacks. And um, it was just a very terrible, dark stage in my life. And I didn't know how to handle it. So being an A-type achiever, as I am, I tried everything I could from therapy Reiki, psychics, yoga, um, but there was nothing that was targeted towards helping heal my heart through such a dark time. So that was the inspiration for my retreat. So I'm curious, what, what happens at the retreat? Basically what happens, we're taking a scientific uh, and spiritual approach to uh, helping heal the heart. And you come, you check in your digital devices so you can't stop your ex. And basically you just have to commit to surrendering. And we have um, everything from a life coach that does one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching and therapy. We have group talks led by um, a positive psychology consultant, which does everything from doing talks on what's happening in the nervous system in the brain and what are the chemicals happening when you're detaching and going through uh, the, the, the cycle of grief as well as embodiment exercises. So what are tools that you can learn when you go back into real life? Maybe you're at work and you can go into the bathroom and for three minutes do this special pose that helps um, create certain chemicals in your body. So uh, there's uh, it's a small intimate setting uh, between seven to 14 women. We kind of create a safe space for women to heal. And there's an on-site chef that cooks really nutritious meals, so you're getting all the nutrients that you need. There's yoga and meditation every day. And then there's free time. So during free time, you can do anything from go alpaca petting, go milk the goats for fresh milk, uh, go for a nature hike and get into nature. We also lead fitness classes so that you're getting those endorphins that you need. Well, Amy, best of luck with this retreat. I think it's so very important. And congrats to you for channeling your breakup yes. into something positive. Yeah. Well, I, I really love it. You, uh... Well, when I went, when I went through, through my divorce, um, and I love this because some people stop eating. I started even eating more because it was my go-to. It was what I dealt with. Um, and I did a burning ceremony burning those old pictures and saying, you know what, I'm letting go of the past and I'm focusing on the future and I'm just letting it go. And to be able to heal through that and really just burn those pictures and saying, it's gone, it's done with, and, I'm, and I forgive you and I forgive myself and I'm allowing myself to grow and move forward. You need that time to heal. And more than anything, acknowledging the pain that goes through heartbreak, it affects you in such a huge way. Well, and I, lo I love how you're not gonna go on a weekend retreat and recover, it takes time, but learning right. the tools, it's and everyone right. goes through their yeah. own. Right. I mean, breaking up can be devastating. I, I just, I'm not sure if, you know, going away to a retreat is... Will help just for a weekend? I don't know, but I don't know if it's different for guys, but it sounds like you had a, a good group of friends. Yeah. But do you have, like, that one friend who's always there, but they give really bad relationship advice? I think we all like, do. I yeah. think we all do. They're, 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 they're like, girl, you should do just, such and such. And you're like, oh, that sounds like a really bad idea. Like that. You're like, oh, yeah. girl, you got to get him back. You go through that kind of stuff. Yeah. But at the end of the it's day, like, it's not Let's go to Vegas road trip. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get that out of here. <laughs> so, I mean, I think just finding a productive way to do it, something healthy. Uh, well, a lot of people. A positive way of a, letting go. A yeah. lot of people will turn to substances, yeah. alcohol being the most readily accessible, and they'll start hitting the party scene, which can be a very vacuous place to yep. try to recover. Or so you end up making it worse. Or rebounding. You go through the rebounding stage, and who's not guilty of that, of saying, you know, I don't want to think about him. I'm going to move on to the next person. You go crazy dates, and it happens to men and women. So I just think this is a positive way of just understanding. Yeah. It's the end. I have to move on, but I have to heal, and I need to do it in a positive manner. But you burn pictures. Don't burn his stuff. No. Or don't burn no, her no, stuff. No, no. You burn pictures. No, 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 I burn pictures because you know what? What goes around comes about what you yes. put out into the universe yep. comes right back. And it was never or about hurting someone else. Goodwill. That's a good Salvation idea. Salvation Army.